I just like to take the opportunity to make a few more important. Okay, so if you see an image like this, sea surface anomalies, positive anomalies. So what really happens here is that this feature is caused by a strengthening of the Lewin current. Lewin current became stronger and moved warmer water farther southward. And if you shift warmer water more southward, you create a warm water anomaly. And this is the reason why you get this warm water feature here, the heat wave. Okay. Satellites only show the surface, but you know from just from the previous slide that the Lurin current actually extends to a water depth of uh, 100 meters. Okay, so what you see here is the warming of the heat wave actually extends the entire thickness of the Lewin current. Okay, it's 100 meters or so. Plus, it also influences the temperature in ambient waters through the creation of eddies. So it's actually the eddies that create this broad zone of temperature anomalies that you can see here, big area. Okay, well, because we're talking about 500 kilometers wide zone. So this one is, is significant. Okay. And the other thing I just like to mention is that the Lewin current is actually indir indirectly produced by the wind, not by the coastal wind, but by winds to the north of Australia. So on the over the northwest shelf and the Arafura Sea that actually create uh, the Lewin current, which is a year-round year-round feature. Okay. So key understanding questions: What is the Indian Ocean dipole? So why does the surface circulation of the Indian Ocean vary seasonally? And we talk about the northern Indian Ocean. Okay? How can boundary currents induce a heat wave? What is an oceanic retroflection region? If most of the northern Indian Ocean is an oxygen minimum zone, how can there be surface plankton blooms in the region? Okay, don't you need oxygen for it? So thanks for tuning in. And next lecture, which will be not lecture 9, which will be lecture 10, will be part B on the Indian Ocean dipole. All right.